We now have the results for the best music in Ruby Volume 2. Currently, the Volume 3 music poll is going on. I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you guys can go there, vote for your top four songs and or scores in Ruby Volume 3. But in this video, we will go over the results of the Volume 2 music poll. I won't be playing any of the actual music in this video because YouTube copyright can get a bit tricky with those types of things, but we will go over the results. Now, all of the eight songs in the Volume 2 music poll did beat out all of the scores, but we do know what scores are the most popular. As coming in at our 10th place on this list with 41 votes, we have the episode 4 score. This is Painting the Town. This is the one where all of Team Ruby went to investigate the happenings in Vale. Blake and Sun went to the White Fang Rally, Neptune and Yang went to Junior's Bar to find information, and this all ended in a battle against Roman Torchwick, as he got in an Elysian Paladin and chased them down the freeway. Now, Neptune and Sun did get knocked away pretty early on in that fight, but Team Ruby did fight off Roman Torchwick, and this was also when we first got to see Neapolitan's semblance. I think this was also her first introduction into the Ruby series as well. We saw her overactive imagination. She came in to save Roman Torchwick after Yang destroyed the Paladin. Definitely an iconic episode, especially considering that's where we got the names Bumblebee and Freezer Burn with their team attack names, etc. So definitely a memorable episode. No surprise that it's one of the more favorite scores, but it is not the most popular score. As in our ninth place, with 71 votes, is the episode one score, the episode The Best Day Ever. This was definitely an excellent start to Volume 2 because it had the iconic food fight, where we got to see Team Ruby and Team Juniper absolutely destroy the Beacon Cafeteria that Glinda Goodwitch cleaned up afterwards, and we got to see a good bit of fun when it came to these two teams. A little bit more about their combat styles, that Team Ruby kind of wiped the floor with Team Juniper, that Ruby could create a slipstream, and all of these different things. Definitely an amazing episode, and no surprise why it is the most popular score. And then our first song on this list coming in in our 8th place with 99 votes is All Our Days. This is one that played at the end credit scene of a minor hiccup. And so I'm guessing a lot of people may not have listened to the credits or know this song all that well, as it did rank lowest on our list. A lot of the music is very good in the Ruby series, but more so, at least for myself, it's more iconic when it's tied to one of the more iconic scenes of the Ruby series, or the opening, etc. So maybe this one's popularity was affected by it only being in the end credits and attached to the Volume 2 soundtrack. Still an amazing song, glad to see that it did beat out all of the scores, but still just not the most popular. The same might also be true for our seventh place on this list. With 127 votes, we have Dream Come True. This was one that was also played over the end credit scenes of Burning the Candle, the one where Blake was kind of burning herself out, exhausting herself, trying to investigate the White Fang, figuring out what everything was going on. So definitely a memorable episode, and and I'm sure a lot of people listen to the end credit scene. It's just compared to the rest of the songs that were on this list, well, it kind of makes sense that it didn't rank as high. And in our number sixth place, with 233 votes, is one that I thought would have ranked higher. It was only 20 votes behind the fifth place and would have made it on to qualify for the best music in all of Ruby Pole, but in this one we have Shine. This was the song that played when Team Juniper did their little dance sequence in Dance Dance Infiltration. You know, that iconic one that all of Team Juniper did, and also other characters on Montium's Twitter, Ozpin and the different professors of Beacon, and I think Roman Torchwick and Neo were also in one, maybe Adam Toros as well. I haven't watched them in quite a while, but definitely an iconic song tied to a very memorable scene. But the one that beat it out for the fifth place spot with 253 votes was actually one that was exclusive to the Volume 2 soundtrack. This was Boop. This was essentially Nora's song about her feelings towards Lyra. Ren. At least that's what can be interpreted by the lyrics of the song, and considering, you know, its ties to Nora and Renora being the most popular ship in the Ruby series, especially now that we have had Volume 7 and they've had their first, you know, romantic interaction. They've had others, but this is the first time that they kissed, and Ro Renora has become, like, canon, canon, it does make sense that this one is as popular as it is. And then coming in at our fourth place with 311 votes, we have Sacrifice. This was the end credit song to the entire volume. At the end of Breach, this song played. Definitely a very iconic song, very memorable, and it's no surprise that it made this list. Breach, volume two in general, really, was just an iconic volume, one that is very memorable, as are really all of the volumes of Ruby, now that I'm saying that, but still definitely a very good song. And then at our third place spot with 473 votes, we have the song Die. 
This was the one that played during the battle sequence of painting the town when Roman was fighting Team Ruby. So definitely one tied to probably one of the best fights in Volume 2, although of course the food fight is definitely one of the highest ranking of them. I think it got second place on our Ruby Fights poll, which isn't really surprising, but this is still one of the more major fights of Volume 2, and the songs that played along with Team Ruby fighting against Roman Torchwick was definitely amazing to see. But then coming in at our second place with a pretty high jump in votes with 591 votes is Caffeine. This is Team Coffee's personal song. I'm really happy to see it this high up on the list. Team Coffee is my favorite and definitely whenever I hear this song I'm reminded of Team Coffee and their entrance into Breach. When they arrived with Professor Port on that airship and started demolishing the Grimm that were there, especially when Coco unleashed her Gatling gun, Fox jumped into the battle, Yatsuhashi, Velvet, etc. Like, it was such a good song to play alongside Team Coffee but that is not our number one spot. Our number one spot with 761 votes was Time to Say Goodbye, the opening to the entire volume, a song that we heard with every single episode, as the volume two opening isn't really one that you skip very often, at least in my opinion, because all of the openings of Ruby are very good with the visuals that are accompanying the songs and everything that is going along with the words, the foreshadowing, etc. So definitely happy to see that Time to Say Goodbye got the top of the list and the top five in this poll we'll be moving on to the best music in all of Ruby Pole that will be taking place after we have the top five from every single volume of Ruby. Currently, as I said, the volume three music poll is going on. Make sure to go and vote for your top four there, but in the following weeks, each volume will be covered, and then after that, the best music poll will take place. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, seeing what music comes out on top in all of Ruby, are watching the Phoenix Festival tournament as it's continuing. What songs were surprising to you that either didn't make the list or were higher up on the list than you expected. Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the content on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with it all. Tweet me at Phoenix Knight 7. Join our Discord server, link also in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.